Hey YouTube, it's Tom Picker here. Today I went to Goodwill, Kiwanis, a video game store, and a thrift store I'm not going to name. Mainly because I scored, and you'll see what I got. Um, and I also got a GameCube in this place a while back for 5 bucks. And my friend sold for 40 which aggravated me a little bit because um, I got it for him. He could have to play. And he paid, sold it, I think, to pay his girlfriend's phone bill. And then they got all upset because rent was cheaper than it should have been. Because I usually I thought it was 20 but it was 19 So they wanted their $2 back. So it's like, oh, you ripped me off $2, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I bought them Chinese food once and spent 40 bucks. So you know what? It's just really aggravating. Uh, first thing I picked up is a Kiss Revenge CD, 53 cents. Um, I think it's like four or five bucks on Amazon. I'll put it up there. I bought it because Kiss, uh, Beatles, ACDC, stuff like that sells. Uh, I'll put it locally for like three bucks or so. Got me another little Christmas ornament for 50 cents. It's I uh, can't read through the camera. Spun glass ornament, figurine, 24 karat gold plated. It's like an apple, I think it is. This sold for like 15 bucks. And it's lightest. It's light. When the woman grabs it, she's like, is there anything in it? Because it's so light. Um, then I picked up a book. Let me flip it over. And it's the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Copyright of 1967. Uh, 10 cents. I don't know why. Because uh, last time I went, they were charging me... 25 cents for a chapter book, which obviously that's what it is, and I only got it for 10 cents, so This was 68 cents, I think, around there This was 53 cents And the other thing I picked up from The uh, thrift store that I'm not gonna name For a dollar, because they don't charge tax Is this For, you know, using in different places I forgot the guy who bought one of these on YouTube. I mean, I think a few people did, but uh, I just forgot his name right now. Sorry guys, I need a drink. Um, but yeah, I have it on eBay for like $19.99, buy it now, free shipping. And the other thing I picked up, I really suck at doing math in my head, and especially like percentage, like 75% of something, so I called my dad. And uh, he's, I asked him, like, what is 75% of $8? He's like, two bucks. So I got this whole thing for two bucks. It's got the drawers, it's in good shape. And it opens up like this. And, uh, you know, you can put your spices. What is this one? Cloves. Uh, this one's ginger. Thyme. Parsley. I don't know. It caught my eye. I figured something different to try. It stands up. Let's see if I can stand it up with one hand without breaking it. There we go. And it stands up like that, so it's pretty neat. Uh, I'm gonna put like 10 bucks on it. I spent a total of $37 today. And three of it was because of gas to my friend. So you ready for that $20 score? And it's funny too because when I was carrying this thing and this, it was too much weight and I didn't want to hold it. And my friend's like, go over there to the register and see if they'll hold it for you. I mean, I go there more than he does, but he's like, go over there. And I see this plastic bin, like, I don't know if you can see it. And when I went to see it, I'm like, I can't believe it. So here's the, some of the stuff. Nintendo 64 controller. The, uh transfer pack for Game Boy. I think it's just Pokemon, so I don't know why. They might as well write Pokemon on it. The memory card, the rumble pack with battery still in it, but it looks clean. The system, yeah, another controller, and so you can see, 20 bucks. Uh, a little mad that it didn't have that. This is not the red one, it's like 30 bucks. Surprised the cap was there. It says, here, let me cover the name. Sold as is. Okay, so for 20 bucks, and that's not even everything. 
That's not even everything. I'm gonna show you the crappy stuff that it came with first. The, f the next one coming up is actually kind of funny because I think AVG AVGN did a, a video on it, and that's Pilot Wings for the 64. NASCAR 99. And it's really annoying having to say 64. International Superstar Soccer 64. Pokemon Snap. I don't even know if it's even worth anything. Super Cross 2000. And NFL Quarterback Club 99. If it was a basketball game, I'd probably keep it. But that's one, two, three, four, five, six games. Now, here's the good games, or the decenter titles. These are all to keep, these are all for sale. First up, Disney's Tarzan. A Bug's Life. Trying to get all the other ones first before the more expensive one. Kirby's The Crystal Shards. It's a little crappy, but hopefully I see if I can clean as much as I can. This is a rip, but it's not too bad for the deal. I don't even know how to pronounce this, I always mess it up. Banjo. Tui and the best one out of the lot a Zelda of Ocarina of Time in like m perfect condition it's a little dirty on the cart but everything else so I got 11 games 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 yeah 11 games total the system the controller the other controller the memory card the rumble pack the Game Boy uh, transfer pack, all that for twenty dollars exactly, because they don't charge tax. I was like, and then I had, her, I walked up to my friend. I'm like, dude, you won't be, you won't know what I found. He was expecting like a big box of Transformer. Like, I found me a '64 with a bunch of games, and these were all wrapped up by tape, and Zelda was in the middle, and like all these were pretty much wrapped up by three. And um, most uh, these three right here, Kirby, Banjo Tooie, and Zelda: Ocarina of Time, were all like in the middle because I couldn't see them, or I would have bought it just for that. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep like uh, Bugs Life, Tarzan, Kirby, Zelda, Banjo Tooie, whatever to keep, and all that's for sale. So I spent 37 bucks. Some of these ain't worth much. I'm gonna see if I can get like two bucks. So two, four, six, eight. 12, I think like, no hold on, 2, 4, 6, yeah 12, so if I can get 12 bucks just back from this, from the 37, and whatever else, is good money to me, so I went to this video game guy, who, you know, the new video game guy in my area, and uh, he's like, oh I, I give more credit than Planet Trick, he was going to give me a buck for a Seal Dreamcast game, I think he was gonna give me like a dollar or two for Blastoy, which is like $15 game. And then I had a price right here for 20 bucks. That was what I was asking. It's worth more than that. And he was only gonna give me five bucks. I'm like, give me 10. Why do you have to triple your money off of me? It's not, I mean, it's worth more. So I don't know why. Oh, and uh, Play and Trade, if you go in there, they'll only give you like eight bucks for uh, Pokemon Yellow, Red, and Blue when it's like a $40 game. Oh, and the last thing I did pick up from the video game guy, my signal wasn't that great in uh, the video game store, and usually he'll do some cheap games that are worth a lot more. And here's one of them. This is a sealed copy of South Park PS1. I paid seven bucks for it, and it sold for about thirty dollars. So I mean, if I can sell just this for thirty bucks. I pretty much got my money back for everything you saw that I bought, and then everything else would just add up in profit. Uh, hopefully it would all sell though. But yeah, that's 64. I've been looking for one for a while. Uh, this woman had a 64 on, what was it? Craigslist. She wanted 40 bucks. I'm like, can you do 20? She's like, no, 25. She's like, how about we meet in the th for 30? It was only gonna be like F10, Mario Kart and some other crappy game but I would have kept Mario Kart so really I'm losing a lot more money than buying this for 20 bucks 
and getting, you know, Zelda of Ocarina of Time, Kirby, and all those good games. There was somebody else, but they wanted like $100 for everything, but I just didn't want to waste that money. And, and, and again, eh, sorry. And again, I would have kept a lot of the games, and then I would have lost money, so this is a pretty good deal. Oh, and some of the games I already had, this is one I'm going to especially play. It's been years since I played, and that's Star Wars Racer, Episode 1. Um, Pokemon Stadium 2, which is I'm going to keep. And this one I bought a long time ago. I'm trying to see if I can sell it, though, and that's WWF WrestleMania 2000. At least now if I buy 64 games, I can test them. The only things I can't test is pretty much any Sega game. I have a system, I just got so much. But the only things I can really test is GameCube, original Xbox, PS2, uh, Super Nintendo, uh, NES, SNES, Nintendo 64, and uh, PS3, PS1. Just to get the system for it, and that's really about it. So, like Odyssey 2, I couldn't test. Oh, I might have another deal coming up, another bundle for 20 bucks. It's gonna be the original Xbox with two controllers, the DVD controller, and uh, some games. I think I could sell the original Xbox system at least for 20 bucks and get all my money back. He asked 25 for everything. I'm like, can you do 20? And he said, yeah, sure, just. It's got to be over the weekend, I guess. I was going to pick it up today. That way I have a reason to go to the flea market to sell. But, uh, yeah. So hopefully all this stuff will sell and I get my money back. And this... The bin was pretty much free, too. So I got something to put crap in now. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment subscribe. Bye, folks.